And happy Christmas Eve, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Brad Sugden. Now we are going to keep tracking Santa, and right now Santa is making his way towards Sweden, still dropping a lot of gifts. Look at that, over three and a half billion gifts have already been dropped. Now Santa is still in portions of Europe, but he will make it over to America and the United States and southern West Virginia. We'll keep tracking him as we go throughout the entire evening. Now right now, had Santa come earlier, he would have seen some snow showers, but this left just enough snow on the ground that it might make it easier for him to get around. But notice our snow showers have come to an end. And we are actually seeing a good amount of clearing take over our forecast right now. And that'll last as we go throughout the evening hours tonight as well. Notice that the main storm system off across the northeast now bringing some light snow showers to them. And we are seeing some clearing now across the Appalachians and points westward as well. So we're looking at a next dry forecast for the next several days as we go throughout our forecast here. Temperatures tonight dropping down into the lower teens. It's going to be quite chilly. We're going to make Santa Claus feel right at home here in southern West Virginia. Temperatures getting cold. Now tomorrow for Christmas Day, temperatures are going to start off cold as well. Notice we'll start off about 16 degrees, but it's going to be a much warmer day actually up near our average highs, which are around 40 degrees for this time of the year. And even as we head into the evening, headed home for many family dinners, temperatures looking cold, but not unseasonable cold by any means about 28 degrees so you're definitely going to need to bundle up nonetheless now this picture was sent to us from Catherine near Edmond I showed it earlier but it just goes to prove that some areas are going to see a white Christmas looks like as we go throughout the day tomorrow just under three inches of snow on the ground and then of course you can always send us your pictures to WOAY Stormwatch on Facebook or to WOAY weatherpicks at gmail.com. Now our hometown forecast is taking us to Athens where temperatures starting off around 10 degrees but rising just over the freezing mark. A little cooler off to the east but temperatures becoming moderate nonetheless. So definitely going to warm up as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Right now though we definitely have some cool air over Charleston 22 degrees and even colder up into points in Michigan. Places in Michigan actually set record lows this morning of 25 below zero. So very cold air, but that is going to move off to the north and east and not really affect us too much more because we're going to start to warm up as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Now right now we're at 21 in Oak Hill, 19 in Beckley, 19 as well in Hinton, and 25 degrees still in Welch, a little milder compared to everybody else, but it's going to be a cold night nonetheless. Now combine that with our winds that we do have coming out of the northwest. We're a little gusty at times as we went throughout the day today. Calming down for the most part, but still about 12 miles an hour down in Bluefield and around 10 miles an hour in Beckley. And of course, we are seeing those higher gusts still. So our wind chills are very cold down into the single digits for many of us. Nine degrees in Lewisburg, eight in Beckley, and even the single digits as well down into Bluefield. A little warmer off to our west, though, where the winds are starting to die down at the moment and will continue dying down as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Now notice tonight with the clearing temperatures getting very cold down into the lower teens. As soon as the sun rises, though, temperatures fly up into the lower and upper 30s as we go throughout the day tomorrow. So Christmas Day not looking all that bad, seeing plenty of sunshine to try out those new Christmas presents. Now as we go towards Thursday, a couple light flurries are possible in our northern counties, but that is about it. Temperatures are going to stay rather moderate, at least about average for this time of the year as we go throughout the end of the week. Now tonight, temperatures 10 to 20 degrees. It's going to be a cold night, mostly clear. Winds out of the northwest at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now looking towards tomorrow, the winds turn around to the southwest, bringing in that warmer air. So we'll see our highs go into the lower 40s for some of us with plenty of sunshine. As we go throughout the rest of the week, you can see into the weekend temperatures rising to the middle 40s, not looking all that bad. Keeping our eye on some flurries that are possible as we go in towards our Monday, but that's about it. But they do bring some more cold air in for us, only the 20s as we head in towards Tuesday. And let's take one last look at where Santa is at the moment. Santa is in Norway. He is getting closer to the Atlantic Ocean, ready to cross it and head over to the Americas, dropping a lot of gifts on his way. Absolutely. He's a busy man. You're busy, busy man. And you're tracking him. Yes, we are. All in right. the spirit. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks so much, Brad. And stick with us, everyone. Spencer's up next with sports.